Hello everyone and welcome. You guys know that I like to do maintenance and repairs on my own vehicles. So part of maintaining a vehicle yourself is having a proper diagnostic tool. I recently got this OBD2 scanner and I'm going to be looking at it today. This is a mid-range OBD2 scanner that gives you a lot of information about your vehicle without having a huge learning curve. In other words, you should be able to use this puppy right out of the box. So let's take a look at it. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews plus helpful DIY projects, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce a new product review video or DIY video. So let's take a look at this. Now first of all, I'm going to tell you the specs on this unit, then we'll see how it works. So let's open this baby up. Now, this is the Autofix OM129 OBD2 scanner and it is available on Amazon, link in description below. And let's get this out of here. And let's see, back here we also have something, there we go. Now when you unbox this bad boy, this is what you get. You get the unit itself, you get a USB cable, and you get the owner's manual. And the owner's manual comes in many different languages and has a lot of different pages telling you what the unit can do, how to do it, etc. So I suggest you read through that. Now the unit itself, basically is a very compact unit. It's only 10 inches in length, 5 inches in width, and only 3 inches in height. So very, very compact. And the unit only weighs 1.3 pounds, so it's very lightweight. Now this unit comes with a one-year warranty and a lifetime software update, which many of these scanners do not have lifetime software updates. For example, Harbor Freight, their update is only one year. You have to buy a subscription every year if you want to update the software through Harbor Freight. As far as doing a software update on this, I checked this right now and it is already up to date. I don't need to do any update to the software. You should be able to use it right out of the box. But if you're curious, all you do is go to the Autofix website, go to the support download page, and you should be able to get the latest software for your particular unit. And that is what this USB cable is for. You download the software onto your computer, hook up the unit to your computer with the USB cable, and then download and install the software right on there just like that. Very simple, easy peasy, no trouble at all. Now this unit has full OBD2 service mode support. It is compatible with all OBD2 units 1996 or newer. So any vehicle with 1996 or newer OBD2 should be fine, should be compatible. It's compatible with cars, trucks, SUVs, 12 volt diesels with OBD2, American, Asian, European vehicles, all with standard OBD2 protocols, including KWP2000, ISO 9141, J1850 VPW, J1850 PWM, and CAN. The unit displays 16 different languages, so you should be able to find a language that is comfortable for you. It has a 2.8 inch screen and 2.5 feet of cable with a 32-bit processor built in for faster speeds. Now, this unit does most of the common diagnostic tasks like checking your O2 sensor, turn off check engine light, mill light, reset monitors, view freeze frame data, read and erase engine fault codes, DTC codes. It'll also tell you what the DTC code definitions are. It'll retrieve vehicle information like the VIN code. It'll tell you real-time battery information. It'll check the battery for you, tell you if it's in good health or not. It'll give you IM readiness for emissions or smog testing, data stream graphing, EVAP testing, and it'll even print out your report in case you want to take it to your technician or whatever the case may be. A printout of a report is always convenient to have for later usage, uh, looking up information on the internet, anything like that. Now this unit is not only good for helping you diagnose any problems you may have with your unit, it's also good for helping you if you're looking for buying a used vehicle. It can basically tell you if the person you're buying the vehicle from is being honest with you or not. It'll help you instantly scan a vehicle, scan for code, scan for freeze frame data, scan for any information in that vehicle that may be hidden from you so you know exactly what you're buying when you're buying it. No person out there selling a vehicle should have any objection to you plugging in a simple compact OBD2 scanner into their vehicle and seeing if there's any problems in the vehicle itself. If they do have a problem, they're obviously hiding something, and that's something, that's a red flag you should be concerned about. All right, so let's check this out on a couple of vehicles and see exactly what it can do. 
All right, guys, let's see what this baby can do. I'm going to start testing it on my 09 Mustang. And on most uh, American and Asian cars, the OBD2 scanner is somewhere under the dash, right over here on the left-hand side, the driver's side of the car, right over here under the dash. Some European and other cars that are a little bit different, uh, they may have it in the center of the dash. So either on the left or right side, that's where you'll find your OBD2 scanner. But for the most part, it's over here on the left. Anyway, you plug your 16-pin OBD2 scanner into the port, and that's how you get started. And it turns on right away because it runs on the power of the 12-volt system going through the OBD2 scanner. It doesn't need any power at all. And one thing that I didn't mention earlier, which is pretty cool, is that this comes with a rubbery cover on it, kind of like a cover for your cell phone. And it's a rubbery cover that is uh, quite thick and removable. If you want to take it off, you can remove it, but I don't see why you would take it off. But if it's very thick. If you were to drop it, that'll protect it from getting damaged. So it's very good. And I guess in really hot, uh, you know, if you have sweaty hands and stuff like that, it could be quite convenient. So it's, it's nice. It's a nice little feature that it has. Anyway, so there you see the uh, dash right there, the display, and it tells you whatever you want to go from there. Very easy to understand, not complicated, uh, you know, language to it. And then you have all the controls down here for doing whatever you want to do. So let's pick something and see what we're going to do. Okay, guys, so I have the scanner hooked up, and let's take a look at some of the functions that it can perform. And by the way, I changed the background to white. You have a choice of white or black, but the black background was giving me uh, too much reflection on the camera and so forth. So I think this will probably show up better. But if you notice a little bit of strobing or rainbow effect or whatever you want to call it, that is caused by the refresh rate on the LED screen. This is an LED screen on the scanner. So the refresh rate on the LED screen doesn't match up with the camera. So that's why you get a little bit of strobing and so forth. But in real life, you don't see that. All right. So when you're looking at the screen with your eyes, you're not going to see that. It's a very clear, sharp display. So there's no problem for that. Anyway, so let's, first of all, let's start off by taking a look at a very basic function that a lot of people may be interested in. Let's do a battery check. So we start off right here, and you won't be, I won't be showing you all this, but these are all the controls down there like I showed you before. And I'll be moving back and forth, but I'll keep that in frame there. So let's move over, over to battery, and let's do that. And it says currently 12.38 volts, and make sure the ignition is off, which it is. And now it says turn ignition on, so let's turn it on. And right away you get a display of how the battery voltage dipped when it started and what it's at right now. So that's a good way right there to check and see if your battery is healthy or not healthy. And you don't even need to hook it up to the battery itself, it reads it all right through the OBD port, OBD2 port. All right, so let's uh, exit out of this and look at some other stuff. So let's see, let's do an I am readiness. Let's see how that works out. It's entering the system and it scans and there you go, right away. That was very quick. This actually is a very quick scanner. I've used several scanners over the years and this one's pretty quick. So that's right there. You don't need to check out anything else. It's telling you right there, the fuel, the cat, O2, evap, everything is a pass. So if I were to take this right now to do a emissions test or something like that, a smog check, whatever, uh, it would pass flying colors, no problem at all. And you see some things it doesn't have. So that's why it's in gray. But all the other stuff is green, no problem. Let's get out of here. And let's see, let's, uh, if you can, oh, sorry, hit the wrong button again. There we go, we go to OBD2 and let's enter that and see what we have and it connects to the system and it tells you everything about the vehicle right there very clearly and if we click on that then you can go through and erase codes I am readiness which we already did from the front screen data stream freeze frame O2 sensor let's check that out even though we already know it's okay and it's telling you right there the values of the uh, O2 sensor and it passes and this car, I believe, has four O2 sensors, so that's why it's showing four different ones. You can check each one individually. So, you see, you'd have to check each one individually if you wanted to do that. So, we can do that. Do that. There you go. 
so that's not a problem. Uh, actually, let's see, let's do OBD2 again. What else is there? Read codes, erase codes, there's no codes to read. Well, I'll show you, there's no codes, this car has no problems. But, no codes, so no problem there. Uh, I am writing this, data stream, and let's see, you can view it. You can either view it numerically or you can view it in graphic. So let's take uh, graphic items. And it loads up all the PIDs that it uh, supports. And then you just select the one you want. And let's see. There you go. And it shows you basically where that one is. Exit out of that one. View graphic items. And you can see up to three at a time, but it gets a little crowded if you do that too many. Engine cooling. Let's, let's see short-term fuel since the car is running. We can see that. Yeah, hit the wrong button. Sorry, I'm trying to look at the camera and do all this at the same time. And that's a good thing right there. You can see it numerically. and You can scan through everything and see what it uh, is doing. So if you don't want to grab, you just want to see what the values are, you can go right through it, each one. This is quicker than doing a graph. If you know what the numbers mean, you can just do it this way. There you go, you can scan through everything you want pretty much and it tells you everything you need. Let's scroll down to graphic again and pick uh, another one. Let's do short term fuel, select that and see what that does. Let's see if I uh, step on the accelerator. And you can see how it changes based on the acceleration. So it does a decent job if you need to see numerically what is going on. No fancy computer needed, this does it all for you. So it's pretty decent right there. You can see freeze frames and all this stuff, O2 sensor test, all the, and then vehicle information, which I'm not gonna show you for this vehicle because it's not necessary. Exit out of there. And then the lookup function is really quite useful because this will help you to look up any code if you don't know what it is. Let me just uh, make up a code here and try to do this. Uh, zero, one, one. I'll just make up that code and let's see what it tells me. Air intake temperature sensor, whatever. And then if you hit the uh, information button down here at the bottom, this info button, then it tells you what it means. There you go. So that gives you an idea. Basically, if you have a code, you can put it in here and it'll tell you what's going on and what solution to, to, uh, to fix it. So there you go. Okay, guys, so here we are in another vehicle. Here we are in my 97 Dodge Ram. Now, this scanner says that it's compatible with OBD2, 96, and newer. So perfect test right here. We have a 97 Dodge Ram. So let's see how it works with this one. So let's see, uh, let's do the battery thing on this one and see how that performs right off the bat. And the battery on this one is getting pretty old, uh, five or six years already. So I'm curious to see what it will do. So let's check this out. 12.21 and ignition off. Turn the ignition on. Let me turn that on. There you go, it dipped a bit but it's actually uh, doing quite well. So for a really old battery, it's not doing too bad at all. 13.9 something. Yeah, it's charging up nicely, it's doing the job. It starts the vehicle. That's the beauty of old vehicles. They're easy to maintain and easy to start and easy for everything. All right, let's exit out of this and let's do an I am readiness on this one. See what it does.
goes through and looks at all the systems that it's compatible with. So it's entering the system and figuring out how to talk to the vehicle. And there you go. Everything's green on this car. So there's nothing that I need to worry about. If I were to go, uh, go do a smog test, uh, emissions test right now, it would be perfectly fine. So no problems at all. And on this one, you see there are some things that are not compatible because this vehicle doesn't have it. Let's exit back out of this. And let's see. Yeah, wrong one. Let's exit out of that. Let's go to the uh, OBD2 port. And check in here, what do we have? This is obviously an ISO 91412 system. So that tells you right there that the system will select whatever method it is compatible with the vehicle. And it tells you everything right there. And in we go read codes let's read codes just for the fun of it there's nothing there there you go no vehicle codes and let's see uh, we already did that data stream let's do data stream view all items let's do it numerically and there you go starts telling you exactly what's going on You can see the engine coolant temp right there. And you can see all the different things that go through it. And it tells you what's going on. RPMs, the vehicle speed, not moving obviously. And this is good if you need to make adjustments to the vehicle for the RPMs or anything like that. It tells you the intake temperature, all that. Very convenient, very nice, very detailed. All right, let's exit out of that. And we already saw the graph, so we don't need to do that. And vehicle information gives you a lot of information there. And this is good. If you're going to buy a vehicle, check this out. When you're buying a used vehicle, it'll tell you everything about that vehicle. And there you go, it worked perfectly with the 97 Dodge Ram. So it does handle old vehicles just fine. Okay guys, there you have it. A review of the Autofix OM129 OBD2 scanner. I think this is a really good scanner for the money. It's compatible with a huge list of OBD2 protocols. It has a huge list of functions and scans that it can perform for the home mechanic to get his car back in running condition. And if you have problems with your car, it helps you identify what those problems mean and how to deal with them. All this at a very affordable price and lifetime upgrades. So I think you should check out their Amazon page and see if this is a tool that can save you money by not having to pay a mechanic for a diagnostic fee or check out a used car that you want to buy and check to see if there are any hidden evils. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to click that thumbs up button, click that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.